two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. The city is crawling. Wait, I know you. You know what? I'm still nervous. They're lazy and useless, a lot of them. They can't even keep the Stormcloaks in line. No way I trust them with the Emperor's life. You worry too much. The Emperor's never been safer. You think assassination attempts are planned overnight? We discovered the plot. End of threat. I suppose. But what about the old man? Son killed, family name ruined, and he acts as if nothing even happened. Think he's even fit for duty? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Commander Maro is the best the Penitus Oculatus has ever produced. You should be half the man he is. You misunderstand, it's just... I feel for him is all. To carry a weight like that, it's got to take its toll. If that happened to me, I'd be a wreck. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet? I'm... I'm sorry. Your clothes, of course. I... I should have realized. Please, excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. We should proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna will be overjoyed to meet you. She's in the kitchens. another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there then get out. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Well, I just never expected the gourmet to be a Breton. It almost seems too obvious. Some of the greatest cooks have been Bretons, and... Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Oh, I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique? Well then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Now what? My choice then? Oh, very well, I think we should add some chorus eggs. For additional flavor. Okay, uh, let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. My choice? Hmm. All right then, tomatoes. Simple yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Well, I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe, after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you.
don't need hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Yet that Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one? Now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. The gourmet. Uh -huh. Leave Here it to Titus to spare guests. no expense. I present to you the gourmet. The gourmet? This is such an honor. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. The missus and I love your strawberry tarts. Oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... The gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Get them! What? No, no, you don't understand. There's Time been to some end kind this. Of a... Aim. I. Ah! That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her, and make sure there's nothing left to bury. I know you had some part in Sinding's escape. Don't deny it. Time to end this little cave. 
of us are now dead, I, I assume as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <clears throat> well, maybe I did. But you saved my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <clears throat> so, thanks. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <clears throat> roasted alive. Come on. Devil, I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. 
one more. Oh. Yeah. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Sorry, the Penitus Oculatus. Mero, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. Wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Mero has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before... You. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill... me. Do it, listener. Kill me. Thank you. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Astrid. By the sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. Astrid. 
Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead the Second must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans, for you are the listener and must bind this family together. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Hmm. <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. You just worry about fulfilling the contract. I'll take care of things on this end. You're back! Could you give me an allowance? Thanks! My favorite drinking bun. I trust you are not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Sands are cold. Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Vampires bracing the attacking people on the street. The 
security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. By the gods, you, you're alive. But I had heard your sanctuary. Please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead, the true Emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He... You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Well, I don't know. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Especially when they're in their clubs. Ah, yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Surely you're joking. This is the true Emperor, not some half septim look-alike. He'll be surrounded by elite bodyguards, I'm sure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Still... Everyone assumes the Dark Brotherhood has been completely destroyed. They may be a bit more lax than usual. Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. What can I do for you? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart woman. The Emperor's cousin killed right here in solitude. I feel nothing. Wait, I know you. You went...
And that's the last one. Said you could see the smoke from White Run. Dragons, yeah. murder, glad we rebellion. can finally stand down. Right into Getting the tired of the looking over my shoulder all the time. Nothing to do we'll now but sit back, back out relax, to sea. and enjoy the trip home. And once more, I prove... Com and tomorrow, the fool. I told you, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Dragon's Reach is so cool. All the kids there are Get mean, away though. from me! Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny. Hmm? Tea leaves, palm reading, crystal scrying. Aha! <laughs> You're back. I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? 
You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Not here. I told you to meet me in Riverwood. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. A few drinks, a few laughs, and a... Word of the Emperor. Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor... How much did Motier pay for such a thing? Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family.